I need to admit I was so wrong in my 20s as I didn't care too much about my financial future. Now I know that establishing the right habits in my 20s could help me throughout my life, including my financial situation. In this period of time we finish our university studies, we are ready to start our career or we already fell in love and get ready for marriage. Shortly you must adopt good financial habits and also set the right goals for yourself if you would like to achieve a better financial future or create excellent opportunities for yourself. Now let me share with you my 5 money goals that I consider the most important if you would like to develop the right habits in your 20s. Start educating yourself financially. Personally I find it weird that even money plays an important role in our life and the years spent with studying is longer than ever, still we don't get the proper financial support from the schools. Furthermore, most of the parents don't even care too much about teaching their children how to adapt good financial habits despite the young age. My mother never mentioned how should I make more money or what can I do if I want to save for a new computer or a bicycle. Now I know perfectly that I can't blame her because of the missing financial knowledge as she didn't have anyone who could have shared the proper information and fundamentals about money. That's why you simply can't wait to reach adulthood and also wait for somebody who can save you and finally teach you everything about money. Instead you should take actions and also start to educate yourself about the world of finance. It is easy to find valuable content, you don't need to be a bookworm or take high class paid courses, it's absolutely perfect if you start to follow the right financial advisors who share all of the knowledge for free. Stephen Graham, Nate O'Brien or The New Money. I have only mentioned you a few channels right now which I still love to watch anytime when I want to learn something new about the world of finance. Furthermore, you can also read exciting books like Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki or The 4 Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. You will realize very soon that some of the sources will tell you exactly the same, but the more books you read and also the more videos you watch, the better chances you will have to finally develop your own financial mindset. Set a budget and track expenses. Creating a budget is essential if you would like to start saving money in your 20s and also create better financial opportunities in the future. It's even better if you also keep tracking your expenses because after a few months you will have a solid picture about your spending habit. When I started budgeting years ago the results were shocking for me. I could see that I was spending money on stuff but I didn't need at all, like supplements for weightlifting, piece of clothes which I never used. With the help of budgeting I realized that even though I didn't turn too much money I still had opportunities to cut back my expenses so I started to prepare my meals for days and reconsidered if I can afford all the supplements for my trainings. Regarding the budgeting rule you don't need to overcomplicate this, just simply follow the 50-30-20 rule which means that 50% of your income should go to necessities 30 goes to wants and also the remaining 20% goes for your savings. Certainly later you can deepen your knowledge regarding budgeting, you can apply different kind of micromanaging techniques, but in the beginning it is totally perfect if you follow this simple rule. Start a side hustle. Besides finding ways to save more money in your 20s, you can also start to work on your income sources at the same time. Nowadays the opportunities are no longer limited to typical student works. You can utilize the power of internet and start your own side hustle. Furthermore, it can be excellent investment later as living in a volatile and competitive world you can't rely on a single income source from a corporate job. A side hustle can be any kind of income source which can help you to earn some extra cash. Only your imagination set limitations to the opportunities and the best is that you can manage all of them besides your 9 to 5 job. At the university I like to teach statistics to my classmates and it helped me to complete my income significantly. Later I started to create single page websites where I have sold only one product. At the same time I also got interested in blogging so I wrote product comparisons about different tech gadgets. Right now I have only shared with you my own examples but the opportunities as I mentioned are nearly endless. 
You can start earning money with freelance tasks like online tutoring, or you can get a taste of the business life with an online store. But after all of these, if you still feel that these kind of web-based opportunities are not for you, then you can look for the good old-fashioned ways like earning money with dog walking or car washing. All in all, creating a side hustle can be an outstanding opportunity to earn some extra cash or even more, these kind of side hustles can be your main income sources in the future. None of the least they can be excellent hobbies what you love and enjoy to do. Meanwhile, they earn a significant amount to your pocket. Start investing. If you want to build wealth, it's not a question that investing will be the key for your success in the future. In your 20s, investing is the last thing that is on your mind and mostly, even years later, it won't be changed. Why I say that? Based on the statistic, only 20% of the American households have some kind of investment. Because of the lack of financial education, only a few people care about investing and it's getting more difficult, especially in your 20s. How should you be able to buy a house or bonds and stock if you just entered into the real life? You probably won't have that much money in your 20s to jump into the real estate market immediately. I was exactly in the same situation in my 20s when I realized that I don't have to look only for the classic type of investments like stocks, bonds or real estate. Anytime I started the side hustle and it worked out, I never spent the money I earned but instead I invested into another side hustle idea. And this is exactly how you can make money even if you have nothing in the beginning. For example, you can start to buy one specific product and sell through social media. If it goes well, you can start to expand your portfolio and find more valuable products. Later you can think forward and you can launch your online store. In the end, you can start to upload all your goods to Amazon or eBay and resell them on higher prices. Going through this example, you can perfectly see how this investment worked out. In the end, you only invested some money into one product and started to promote it. Later, you purchased more and more goods and you also expanded your portfolio, which helped you to finally start your own web store and also start to resell them on different kind of platforms. All in all, the key to successful investing is diversifying your portfolio. That's why I still love to search for new and new opportunities anytime when I see that one of my side hustle earned a decent amount of money. So the final goal is to start to plant the seeds already in your 20s to make sure that you won't only rely on your full-time job later. Figure out what matters the most. It took me a while to figure out what matters the most for me in my 20s. For sure I became the part of the modern consumer society, therefore I always spent all my money on things which weren't important for me at all. Anytime when one of my friends purchased a new hoodie, I also wanted one. When they got a new phone, I urgently wanted to change mine too. Now I know that I was a perfect example which is called passion purchaser. I didn't think twice before I spent money on something and this resulted not even once that I purchased products that I never used or didn't like at all. If you can already figure out in your 20s what matters for you the most, then you already did something extraordinary which can help you to secure your future financially. Despite the young age, you can understand that you can't become rich if you live paycheck by paycheck. If you always spend your money on something which you regret later, then it's a wasted money. If you can't think twice before an actual purchase, then you make the same mistake over and over again. And this is exactly why you have to figure out what matters the most for you. Would you like to buy a house before the age of 30? Make your own sacrifices, stop your emotions, which urge you to purchase something online and don't follow the crowd, even if it seems to be right. Developing a solid value system in your 20s will help you to overcome on all the shared difficulties and ensure to get the most out of your 20s financially. So these were my 5 money goals that I consider the most important regarding 20s and I hope you already started to practice some of them. And don't worry, if you are still not conscious, then you have plenty of time to start practicing all the shared habits. Do you have something to share regarding this topic? Then please don't hesitate to leave a comment and also hit the subscribe button, check my previous videos and as always, see you next time and thanks for the support.